Welcome back to Appreciate Taste. I'm Jay Pruitt, and today we're going to make pie crust. You can use this for sweet pies. You can use it for savory pies. It's really simple to make. I'm just going to go step by step here with you and show you how it's done. And if you like this video, I'd like to invite you to watch our next video because I'm going to show you how to use this pie crust to make chicken pot pie. I've already got everything pre-done here as far as cut up, but what I have here, I have a uh, half a cup of butter and a half a cup of margarine. And uh, we're going to add that half cup of butter, and we also want to add that half a cup of margarine. Now, I have uh, froze both the margarine and the butter in the freezer. I like to do that because uh, it makes it uh, easier to work with. We want this to incorporate into our flour uh, and, and we want it to be firm. And the reason for that is because uh, when we begin to roll out the dough we want those chunks of butter in there uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about here as we mix this pie crust up. But we want to have it you know kind of solid there because when it bakes that's what makes the crust flaky. I have a teaspoon of salt we want to add that in as well. And what I'm going to do before we add anything else in is I'm just going to take this cutter. I'm going to mix everything together like this. And I'm going to keep going until I get that margarine and butter incorporated in really nice. But we want to make sure that we get it the right consistency, those uh, P-shaped uh, pieces, uh, before we begin to add our wet ingredients. I think we've got all our ingredients mixed together really nice. Now we're going to start adding our wet ingredients. What I like to do is take a tablespoon of vinegar and add the tablespoon of vinegar to my dough. I want to stir that in and just mix that in really evenly. We don't want to get our dough too wet. We don't want to make it sticky. Let me tell you why I added the vinegar in uh, a tablespoon of vinegar in before I started putting water in. There's two reasons why I added vinegar to this pie crust. It's not going to impart any flavor to it whatsoever. But what it is going to do, it's going to break up the gluten in our pie crust so that our pie crust is going to be nice and soft and smooth and flaky. And that's what we want. That vinegar helps uh, take the strands of gluten that happens when flour and water begin to mix together. It takes those strands and, and breaks them apart, keeps them from forming, and gives us a nice, smooth, soft dough. The second reason that we use a tablespoon of vinegar is because it, it keeps the crust from browning too much when you bake it. If you have a pie that you're baking for a good, uh, a longer period of time, they have a tendency to burn. This vinegar is going to help us to keep that from burning, and so that's what we want. Now, I'm going to add another tablespoon of water to our dough. I'm using ice water. We add the water in until our dough begins to come together in a ball. Mine, after the tablespoon of vinegar and after one tablespoon of cold water, it's already starting to come together quite nice. Now, if I was going to make a uh, nine-inch pie, uh, maybe an apple pie or a cherry pie, uh, I would want to divide this into two equal portions and roll them both up into a ball, flatten them down into a disc, and then I want to wrap them and put them in the refrigerator and let them sit for, oh, four hours, maybe even overnight. That wouldn't hurt anything. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make some smaller uh, chicken pot pies. They're going to be in uh, smaller ramekin dishes. And so because of that, uh, I want eight balls of dough. One for the bottom and one for the top crust of each pot pie that I make. Once I have rolled these out, I'm going to wrap them and I'm going to put them in the refrigerator. Okay, I'm down to my last ball of dough. I've just been rolling them up, getting out a little plastic wrap, flattening them out into a disc so they'll be easier to roll later and wrapping them up. Don't have to be fancy with it. And we can use these to make our chicken pot pies. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope that you'll look for our chicken pot pie video. I'm going to get these over to the refrigerator so they can rest for a little while. 
Don't forget to visit us at www.appreciatetaste.com. Like us on Facebook, and until next time, don't forget to make it with love.